It was a good performance. Um, th those are always tricky, tricky games. Uh, I thought they bowled pretty well up front. Uh, it made it difficult for us. It's one of my harder knocks out there today. Really had to work, um, which means that they, they hit the areas quite well. They, they weren't bad at all. Um, made us work, work for our runs. We got a nice foundation again, which I'm very happy about. And we could free, free up nicely towards the end. Very happy about the fact that um, Gwynny scored some runs, Farhan scored some runs. Some of the lower order got opportunity to eat a couple of balls. Vernon even got in as well. Um, those kind of things will definitely um, will definitely help us going into the, the knockout rounds now. Yes, so very happy with the, the fielding display as well. Everyone bowled nicely and everyone got a nice run in all the part-timers as well. So all round good performance. I won't say yes, that win's given us the confidence to that to believe that we, you know, better than ever, but but still, it's those those games need to be respected, and I think with the boys rocked up here with a great attitude today, and we wanted to win and wanted to play a good game of cricket, which we did. That gives us a a good headache. <laughs> it's a it's a good thing to to know that players are in form. Um, so they're two diff completely different players. Um, Riley's more in the top order, very attacking, where Farhan is more of a finisher, um, likes to assess the conditions and the situations really well and he gives us a few overs with the ball in hand. So it's a difficult um, call to make, but we'll closer to the time we'll have a look at who we're playing. Um, looks like we're going to Sydney, we're not sure about that yet, but um, we'll look at the conditions that we um, what they'll be up against and the situation that we're confronted with, um, what kind of team we're playing and then we'll make that call. If all of them are fit, it's a, it's a difficult call. Um, I, I think because of the fact that most of our batters are in good form, um, it must. It will probably come down to Farhan and Riley. Um, it's it's a it's a tough call, but that's probably where we're heading. We'll have a look at that. We will obviously discuss the team selection moving forward. Um, Russell and I and the selectors will sit down and discuss all the different uh, different um, possibilities and and combinations that we do have, and we'll make that final call once we once we get closer to the time. But talking about Quinny, there's <laughs> there's no doubt in my mind that he's a match winner, and I said it before that he's gonna. He's going to play a big part in us winning this World Cup, so I would hate to see him go. Um, but it's something that we will discuss moving forward. But for now, he's, he's still my first pick, and like I said, he's going to when the when the when the, when the push comes to the shove and when the heat is on, I, I truly believe he's going to play a big knock for us. Look, personally, I, I do I don't want to keep. Um, it's it's uh, it, it it really puts a lot of pressure on me as a captain. I, I've got more time without the gloves in hand feel I can get to my bowlers, communication is much better, so it will be a, a last resort for us to, to move in that direction. Quinny showed some signs of good form again today, much better, he was prepared to fight it out, and not, like I said, I'm going to say it again, he's going to win us a few games moving forward, so he'll be a big big player to leave out. Obviously started quite well with the 100, but uh, from there I think uh, you know I've had a couple starts where I've maybe wanted to continue through through those starts, but unfortunately I haven't. Um, but you know, I'm really enjoying my batting at the moment. Um, I've, I feel like I'm uh, getting in good positions and giving myself a chance. Um, and then, uh, obviously, with the team, like you said, we've had a couple upsets, one or two here. But uh, you know, that's always, I believe, that might happen in group stages. But uh, as we move forward, you know, I think we've shown over the last year, year and a half, that we've we. The consistency that we can play, and um, you know, I think uh, actually I know the boys will be rearing to go come that uh, quarter final and preparing really hard for for that as well. I don't think there's uh, a huge amount of responsibility as me an individual. I think it's a team performance, so you know everyone has to sort of chip in here and there. And you know, unfortunately, we we came short the other night, but uh, um, and I've I've felt over the last sort of year that uh, I have got better at chasing, and I think it's just. Uh, um, what you what you think out there and trying to be clear as much as you can and then uh, obviously executing the, the, the decision you make. Uh, but, you know, I think uh, just giving myself the best chance I can uh, once chasing uh, as an individual, um, uh, trying to assess as you go along and take it as deep as possible. Um, I think that's uh, obviously my sort of routine that I like to stick to. Uh, like I said, the last year and a half uh, we've been really sort of Working hard to, towards this World Cup, and I think we've shown in the past what we can what we can do. So I think this game is sometimes a cruel game. You know, it's 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 the way it goes. But you know, I th like I said, the last year, year and a half, we've performed chasing. So I don't think there's any areas where 
uh, we need to maybe improve. I think uh, maybe just the the execution of certain certain uh, shots that we that we played the other night, um, but I don't think uh, anything more than that.